the Trump administration on Thursday moved to vastly expand offshore drilling from the Atlantic to the Arctic Oceans with a plan that would open up federal waters off California for the first time in more than three decades. The new five-year drilling plan also could open new areas of oil and gas exploration in areas off the East Coast from Georgia to Maine, where drilling has been blocked for decades. Many lawmakers in those states support offshore drilling, though the Democratic governors of North Carolina and Virginia oppose drilling off their coasts. Florida Gov. Rick Scott, a Republican, also opposes offshore drilling near his state, as do the three Democratic governors on the West Coast. Interior Secretary Ryan Zinka announced the plan Thursday, saying that responsible development of offshore energy resources would boost jobs and economic security while providing billions of dollars to fund conservation along U.S. coastlines. The five-year plan would open 90% of the nation's offshore reserves to development by private companies, Zinka said, with 47 leases proposed off the nation's coastlines from 2019 to 2024. 19 sales would be off Alaska, 12 in the Gulf of Mexico, 9 in the Atlantic, and 7 in the Pacific, including 6 off California. This is a draft program, Zinka told reporters during a conference call. Nothing is final yet, and our department is continuing to engage the American people to get to our final product. Industry groups praised the announcement, which would be the most expansive offshore drilling proposal in decades. The proposal follows President Donald Trump's executive order in April encouraging more drilling rights in federal waters, part of the administration's strategy to help the U.S. achieve energy dominance in the global market. To kick off a national discussion, you need a national plan something that has been lacking the past several years, said Randall Luthi, president of the National Ocean Industries Association. Former President Barack Obama blocked Atlantic and Pacific drilling under a five-year plan finalized in 2016. The Trump administration is overhauling how federal officials monitor safety procedures on offshore drilling operations, revising a pair of rules enacted in the wake of the 2010 Deepwater Horizon spill on the grounds that they are overly burdensome on industry. On Friday, the Bureau of Safety and DORA the Trump administration is overhauling how federal officials monitor safety procedures on offshore drilling operations, revising a pair of rules enacted in the wake of the 2010 Deepwater Horizon spill on the grounds that they are overly burdensome on industry. On Friday, the Bureau of Safety and DORA, a coalition of more than 60 environmental groups denounced the plan saying it would impose severe and unacceptable harm to America's oceans, coastal economies, public health, and marine life. These ocean waters are not President Trump's personal playground. They belong to all Americans and the public wants them preserved and protected, not sold off to multinational oil companies, read the coalition's statement, which was signed by leaders of the Sierra Club, Natural Resources Defense Council, League of Conservation Voters and other environmental groups. The proposal comes less than a week after the Trump administration proposed to rewrite or kill rules on offshore oil and gas drilling imposed after the 2010 rig explosion in the Gulf of Mexico.